Hello, and welcome to Game Theory. I'm Professor Naomi Utgoff of the United States Naval Academy, and in this video, we'll learn how to underline best responses to find a Nash equilibrium in a matrix game. In the previous two videos, we defined Nash equilibrium and used iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies to find the unique Nash equilibrium in Prisoner's Dilemma. We'll see in this video that some Nash equilibria cannot be found by iterated elimination alone. We'll instead identify best responses in order to find Nash equilibria. Let's recall the definition of Nash equilibrium. Since strategies that form mutual best responses are a Nash equilibrium, we can find Nash equilibria by finding best responses. Here's Battle of the Sexes. You should check that neither player has a strictly dominated strategy. However, when we discussed the definition of Nash equilibrium, we show that Boxing Boxing and Ballet Ballet are both Nash equilibria of this game, while Boxing Ballet and Ballet Boxing are not. We'll identify each player's best responses to the other player's strategies. The Nash equilibria are those strategy pairs in which both players are best responding to the other. First, we'll find the man's best response when the woman plays boxing. If the woman plays boxing and the man responds boxing, he receives payoff 2 in red. If he responds ballet, he receives payoff 0 in blue. The man prefers 2 to 0, so his best response to the woman playing boxing is to play boxing himself. We'll underline the 2 to record this information. Second, we'll find the man's best response when the woman plays ballet. If the woman plays ballet and the man responds boxing, he receives payoff 0 in blue. If he responds ballet, he receives payoff 1 in red. The man prefers 1 to 0, so his best response to the woman playing ballet is to play ballet himself. We'll underline the 1 to record this information. Now we'll find the woman's best responses. If the man plays boxing and the woman responds boxing, she receives payoff 1 in red. If she responds ballet, she receives payoff 0 in blue. The woman prefers 1 to 0, so her best response to the man playing boxing is to play boxing herself. We'll underline the 1 to record this information. If the man plays ballet and the woman responds boxing, she receives payoff 0 in blue. If she responds ballet, she receives payoff 2 in red. The woman prefers 2 to 0, so her best response to the man playing ballet is to play ballet herself. We'll underline the 2 to record this information. By underlining, we've found the man's best responses to the woman's two listed strategies and the woman's best responses to the man's two listed strategies. The matrix entries with both payoffs underlined correspond to Nash equilibria. Both payoffs are underlined in the square corresponding to boxing boxing, so boxing boxing is a Nash equilibrium. Similarly, both payoffs are underlined in the square corresponding to ballet ballet, so ballet ballet is also a Nash equilibrium. We'll see later, in our discussion of mixed strategies, that underlining does not necessarily capture all of the Nash equilibria of a game the way that iterated elimination does. Boxing Boxing and Ballet Ballet are both Nash equilibria of Battle of the Sexes, but we'll soon see that there is in fact one more Nash equilibrium in this game. Here is the same game from the previous video's iterated elimination exercise. Pause the video and underline to find each player's best responses to the other player's strategies. What Nash equilibrium do you find? When you are done, resume the video to see a solution. First, we'll identify player 2's best responses to each of player 1's strategies. When player 1 plays A, player 2's best response is F, since 10 is greater than 1, 9, and 3. When player 1 plays B, Player 2's best response is H, since 11 is greater than 7, 8, and 9. When player 1 plays C, player 2's best response is F, since 11 is greater than 9, 2, and 3. When player 1 plays D, player 2's best response is G, since 2 is greater than 0, 1, and 0. We've now found player 2's best responses to each of player 1's strategies. Now, we'll identify player 1's best responses to each of player 2's strategies. When player 2 plays E, player 1's best response is C, since 100 is greater than 2, 8, and 3. When player 2 plays F, 
player one's best response is D, since 6 is greater than 3, 5, and 2. When player two plays G, player one's best response is B, since 4 is greater than 2, 1, and 2. When player two plays H, player one's best response is B, since 7 is greater than 1, 3, and 0. We've now found player one's best responses to each of player two's strategies. The only square with both payoffs underlined corresponds to BH. We should expect this answer because we already determined using iterated elimination that BH is the unique Nash equilibrium of this game. Note that player one did not underline any of her payoffs in row A. This observation is consistent with the fact that B strictly dominates A. Similarly, player two did not underline any of her payoffs in column E. This observation is consistent with the fact that F strictly dominates E. Thanks so much for watching this video about finding Nash equilibrium in matrix games by underlining best responses. In the next video, we'll expand upon this technique to find Nash equilibrium in Cournot duopoly.